Okay. Oh, that would be the AC. I got to turn that off now. There we go. I'm back. I just want to get something to eat. I mean, honestly, that's basically all what I want to do. I just wanted to... I wanted to eat. Get some lunch in me. Have a nice sandwich. Some chips. So, what we're doing. Oh, I should level up. Okay, did I put stuff in? No, I did not. Okay. And I gotta go meet King Alistair. Actually, you know what? I should before I do that. Time to go meet the king. I'll take the Ferelins with me. And, 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 and Penrith. I mean, honestly, we're gonna go meet with the king. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Can't anybody be serious around well, here? That was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face then. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the champion of Kirkwall. Right. I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty. May I say, what an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait, weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. No. Nah. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself against all odds. Yeah, you best into a touch me. I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. So... What's going on with Orlais? There be a war, then. I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. 
Olay isn't the most stable place right now. Okay. Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Oh, yeah. Apparently, <clears throat> some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? No. That's right. Swooping is bad. Call back. So, what's well, up with Meredith? We're having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the circle. I can only deal with mages outside the circle, of which there aren't many. So... A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Mm, not really. Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. So, um... What do you need me to do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. No, that's what I'm trying to do. You to keep it from falling apart. Just me standing between the city and disaster, huh? Always. I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. Just nobody's going to use it. Well, I guess I got to talk to Aveline. I feel I can be snarky with Alistair. Of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out in a blaze. The day is young. It was a compliment, you ass. No, it wasn't. Hello again, Chandler. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. I gotta talk with you about something anyways. Um... You have no Vika. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Well, somebody sort of sort of sort up that Templar's butt. And not in the fun way, either. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just out of hand. He could be fishing for a less strenuous position here in the barracks. Well, he won't be getting one from me. That's not what Callan has heard. What are you talking about? That you coddle your men. It's all lies, of course. But it's out there. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donnie. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him. Or any in my command. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Can we not do Donick's patrol? Being soft. Not in this lifetime. Trust me, I do not think you're soft. I mean, I'm sure Donick thinks you're nice and soft. I mean, honestly, he's like, yeah, it's my wife. She's nice and soft. At the same time, at the same time, he's also probably like, yeah, there's nobody else I'd rather have at my back.
The soft one you want to be. And crypto has been saying has has had nothing but good things to say about you. So, um, you know. We'll do this one. We'll intercept Donix patrol first. I should speak a little slower because my captain can get a little blah 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 blah. My mouth can't keep up either. Will be on this route. Let's see what his patrol consists of. Oh, great, more. champion now. You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. I didn't expect to find you so deep in bandits. Yeah, we need to get the streets a little cleaner. Sure. I'll be sore tomorrow, but it was my choice. Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up. Casualties are down. It is remarkable, as are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Arhawk. Safe travels. You know, you could have just invited, you know, Colin to go with you on that patrol. Be sufficient. Take that to the Templar. You, you, you know, you, you could listen. Let's go talk to Cullen. Or you could have just talked to Cullen. You, you know, brought Cullen along. I mean, he's probably getting bored. Stand there at the gallows all day long. Can't be very fun. I'll clean up the streets soon. I should bring my dog out.
take out some savers, and we'll head off to, to the gallows in the morning. I'm gonna leave Anders here. I'm gonna leave Anders here. Can I leave Anders here? Trade. Can support the night commander. I don't care a fig for her, but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. Good point. Champion, and you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I have successfully wasted my time, and there is no merit to the claims, as I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of guard captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Just point me in the right direction and I'll get you some peace and quiet. I have no answers for you other than to say that all of the complaints have come from Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but... I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown Hawk, I need to speak to Brennan. Oh, you will. Gonna go to the hanged man though and bring Meryl out. I mean, she lives in Low Town, so. I mean, it's the alienage, but still. Just in case. Spend the night, spend the day in the bar with the guard captain. She's telling wild stories while drunk. And beating everybody in arm wrestling. I mean everybody at once. A.K.A. Don't mess with her. Please, she's a... Trying to get the jump on me, huh? Not gonna happen. It's over. 
We'll do that in a bit. First things first. Deal with the complaints. Guardswoman. Guardsman. I remember you. We saved your butt. Guardsman. Why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Better make it good. It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you. But none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. Well, let's go have a chat with the man. The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti Ferelden. The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the champion killed. A rally against the tyranny of the guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. You you gotta go clean the, the you gotta go clean the bathrooms for this. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be there. Oh, you will be. Will be. In fact, you know what? Let's go now. Samson. You'll be there, good captain. And savers. Thank you.
I'm gonna make sure there's you know, no body to loot here. I mean, they could leave the bodies for the people of Darktown, but they're not gonna loot them. Champion here with the guard captain. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw off all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority, foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon, you disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall. Your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No. You shall have less. How's everybody doing health-wise? Oh, we're doing pretty good. Just in time. Hiring mercs? Two of you, huh? You fool. Why would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. Can I look the bodies first? Thank you. Okay. And there we go.
Fresh armor for Aveline. No, I don't really like Dark Town that much. Gonna be honest, I need the open air. Back to the barracks. thought. It's nice, isn't it? He seems nice. Yes, he's very nice. I know, and you're so cute Hello when you're with him. Me. Not like normal you at all. Haven't you got something unholy to do? No, we're following Hawk. That's important too. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Tell me about it. I can't go 20 minutes without getting jumped. But when does it start to hurt those you care about? I try to lead well, but this? I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, Hawk, my guardsmen need me. Yes, they do. And then he says, he says, I swear I had two when I came in here. <laughs> hmm. You know, those stains never came out. You are horrible. Every inch. You love it, big girl. And you owe me for the bottle. Hawk. <laughs> She's not so bad. Except when she is. Did you know I've been dead for seven years? Really? I got word last week. They only just sorted the casualties of Ostagar. <clears throat> the king has offered to reinstate the commission of any surviving officers who will return to Ferelden. And? And what? Does this appeal matter? I thought you were sworn to Caelan. King Alistair has apparently become something of a sensation. A champion of hope. Regardless of who has the throne, I served Ferelden. The country survives, even if Kaelin didn't. You brought it up. What's your decision? It's been a strange time here in Kirkwall. Do you ever think about that last night at Ostagar? How it happened? I don't mean the betrayal. Everyone knows the signal went up and the flanking charge never came. But that moment when the tower lit and then... The fight just kept going. It was the oddest feeling. Hope answered with... Nothing. I don't like the thought of going out with a whimper, Hawk. Not again. Shock of shocks. You're staying. You'd walk all over a new captain. I could never subject these men to that. No, oh, come on. You never let me have any fun. I have so much because of you. you never let me have any fun, I Evelyn. You, Hawk, and for myself. Guard Captain. Okay, what kind of trouble next? I think we'll do that one. And help Varric out.
I think I am going to take Beric. I won't take Isabella. I think that'll be a good group, right? Right. Ah, I think it'll be a good group. Good people. Good friends. Good food, good meat, good God, let's eat. Do you with Bartern's home? I'm gonna need my dog for this, I think. We've got ghosts. What a great way to start off spooky season, I guess. Creepy blood mages and ghosts. You guys hearing that, right? Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. Something in this house is restless. Besides me? <laughs> I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. That would be quite the trick at parties. I did not see anything. Where is that voice coming from? What voice? Oh, great. Now my companions are hearing stuff that I'm not. And our dwarf was going crazy. Seems everything's in order right now. I can't do that. We get it already. House haunted. You can stop now. We're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartran was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Atuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! There's no way you're talking about the same Bartrand that I met. Maker's truth. There were tears in his eyes. I never thought that was possible before. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Great. <clears throat> Sentimental chunk. So we're dealing with a poultry geist. You know, one of these days I will finish that movie. I did start that movie once. Ah! Sorry. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. I hope not. Okay. 
Guess the spirits want me to come in here. Sit down for a nice dinner. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? I don't think I can do that. At least they're tidy. Probably because they had tight, they're, they're angry because they had to put the books away. You know. See, look at it. It's a polite ghost. It's a polite ghost. And that's the way out. I don't want to leave yet. Not until we solve the mystery. I just don't want to know what my options are. We were just over there. I really should have gone to the privy before coming in here. Well, I did, so, um, I kind of need to go again. Great, okay, there was an autosave. Just, just what I needed. Ah, loot. That always makes me feel better. Done. Let's go through this other door. Not going to happen. Or not. Okay, I'm going to make a save. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Varric. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. He's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. Varric. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again. Yeah, earthquakes aren't good. Especially in haunted houses. Oh, just a golem. And demons. That's so good. And more demons. Wonderful.
so dramatic. This, this is a piece of the idol. No, oh, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. My only hope of finding out what happened to my brother is with this shard. Varric, it's dangerous. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad, I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. Acting crazy is not a compelling argument in favor of keeping that accursed thing. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any more loot. It should be clear of being haunted right now, but right? Should be okay to live in now. Oh, and we can get some air. I'm going home. I'm just going to go back to the house and, you know, get something to drink and... I was just trying to get away. Sailing into the storm was a gamble. Took care of the dreadnought, but it did us in too. Can't win them all. Where I come from, we would call that insanity. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Plus it's insane. Just saying. He's sandal got something for you. Think you can do something with this sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Oh, enchantment. I love sandal. Okay, what quests do we got for the companions? Okay, I'm going to go talk to Meryl first, and then we'll go... Yeah, we'll do that. I'll do it, finish up the companion quests. I'll take Sebastian. I'm going to say hi to Tarbis. Say you eat the dead up there and murder strangers in the street. 
Why do I suspect that when you say you've heard rumors, you mean you've invented some? Six of one, half dozen of another. Have you located any Canari blades? Here you go, bud. This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? No, not really. I'm not doing this for the money. Very well. Doing this out of respect, man. I respect you guys. The soldiers. Not the Canary leadership. I'm going to start with Meryl's house. Letheline, I need to ask you for a favor. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Alluvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Uh, you mean demon? What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, look at it. Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Don't have a key for it. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else m must know something. The Alluvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. Letheline, please, come with me. I don't want anything bad to happen. Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The Keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. No, they're still there. It was already there not that long ago. this for me it's beautiful do you know what it is not really well I thought so right up until you asked me that it's sylvanwood rare as diamonds you only find it in very old very wild places the carvings tell a story of the betrayal the dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world start at the beginning what happened to the gods? Long we'll find out soon. There were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither. Fan Harrell. The dread wolf. He was kin to the creators. I'll never see that guy. Never. Totally not. War against the forgotten ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Van Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the forgotten ones that it was hidden in the abyss. That mutually, ex mutually exclusive. He sealed them both in their realms. I mean, honestly. No 
It could have been forged in the heavens and then somebody put it and sealed it in the abyss. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the dread wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento, thank you. Haha. -ha. I'm up net five. Varric. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. Hey, it's what I do, man. That's what I'm here for. That and doing all the fighting. You know what I like about you, Hawk? Your humility. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Come on, Edwina. Where's the drinks? Uh, you at a loss for words. I should mark this down my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. Look, I just want to say it has been an honor knowing you. Uh oh. Are you about to die? Am I? Why so serious all of a sudden? Don't panic. I just needed to get that off my chest. You know, it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. Yeah, and look at me now. Here's to whatever comes next. Okay. Okay, um... We'll do that one. Let's see who needs rescuing now. I, hear the champion of I still don't use the shock skull as a gravy boat. normally say this but the shiny white armor it works for you that's uncharacteristically kind of you Varric. makes you look like a lacquered pilot whale ah no that was much more in character hey i like his armor i think it's cool you there did my love send you Will you take me to him? Uh... Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really hope you're talking about someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Oh, that's nice. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to my man? Huh? you to your girl and dead. Really? Well, he's into Vinter, so... Right. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, 
and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. Okay, then. I mean, it's nice to see Fenriel mastering his powers. I mean, obviously, you know, he walked the fade, fade and um, took care of them in, the, in in their dreams. Because, you know, he can do stuff like that. I would assume. I mean, that's what I assume a dreamer would be able to do. I'm going to see if there's any more teleshock. If there's any more canary swords out here or backpacks. No, I should bring I should bring the puppy out. Let me grab my Mavari. I'm glad I'm doing good. I don't know if there's any more Canary Swords. Yes, there are. Okay. I knew there was at least one out here. There might be one in the sewers, too. Yeah, I got some more canary. Need a, you know, they got some aggression somewhere, I guess. Doesn't look like anything's going on down that way. I want to see. I want to see if anything's going on down that way. If there is, I'll say, you know, go back and.
Okay, it doesn't look like anything's going on this way yet. Just somebody blowing the coast. <clears throat> That's good. Still going to continue my search, though. Make sure nothing's happening. Get as many of these canary swords as possible. Plus, I want to find that other mage, or the other shop, the one that's about he out here. See if he's got a backpack. Because somebody's got to have another backpack. And canary swords. Yay, another one. Gonna get all the canary swords. <clears throat> Mace, robes, no others, huh? Oh. I'm loaded up on chunk anyways. Now we can go back in the main path. Make sure there's, uh, nothing left to worry about. Okay. Oh. Back to Kirkwall, I guess. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm just going to go back to the house.
That's good. That's very good. Okay. Next. I should get something to drink. I'm going to stay hydrated. And caffeinated. Definitely need to stay caffeinated. I mean, honestly. Okay. That's the one I'm going to do next. Okay. I'm going to need... Take like Barrick, Meryl. Last time I did it with. I'll do all mages this time. Show Anders exactly what's up. Telling a joke wrong, anyways. It's uh, three Templars walked into a bar, and the mage ducked. Keeper. Welcome home, Dalev. This isn't a homecoming, Keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? If one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. Your first is going to summon a demon to get advice about her mirror. Did you really have to say it that way? Yes, you're her first. I've already done everything in my power to stop this, and some things that were beyond my strength. I had rather hoped you might succeed where I failed. I'll do what I can to buy you time. Talk to her. Save her from this. Yeah, Meryl. No offense, but... I mean, I'll do what you want, but... I'm hoping somebody could talk some sense into you. This is dangerous. I don't want to lose a friend. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. But you do realize this is crazy, right? Believe me, I noticed. If I had any other choices, I'd take them. You have choices. You always had choices. Stop using blood magic. Get rid of that damned mirror. Well, in that case, I'll head back to Kirkwall and throw it away. Right after you abandon the plight of the Sergal Mages. Ah, <sighs> why is everybody in this ma my party 
Such idiots at times. Spiders. Ah, uh -huh, screw it. I really do not want to do spiders right now. One less to worry about. I really... I was like, I'm done with giant spiders for now. Maybe some more later, but right now, definitely not. No more giant spiders. Okay, an arcane horror. That's a different matter entirely. I'm gonna go loot the bodies. I need loot. Back up to center mount again. Everyone's fine. Shades I like. I don't care about shades. It's, it's just the giant spiders. I am so tired of spiders. There we go. Okay. Meryl, we're heading up that way. Up to Sunder Mount again.
Or we brought back uh, the old hag who talks too much. No worries. All mothers, protector of the people, watch over us. For the path we tread is perilous. Save us from the darkness, as you did before. And we will sing your name to the heavens. Sorry. I didn't mean to hold us. You just... It's never wise to ignore Mithal. Who or what is Mithal? I don't know. She's the protector. The mother of the creators. The one who put the moon in the sky. Wisest of all the gods. When Elganon defeated his father, the sun, the earth was plunged into darkness. Everything was about to perish. Mithal appeared then, calmed Elganon, and restored the sun to the heavens. The people always look to her for help. If she's temperamental, maybe I should join you. It wouldn't hurt. They say if Mithal smiles on you, then you need fear nothing at all. But then I'm good. Anger her, they're struck from the earth, as if they never lived at all. Then I'm good. I did. Because I got friends in high places. Does anybody else get the feeling that this is going to end badly? Just me, huh? No. It's not all bad, Varric. Think of the stories you'd be able to tell later. Now, no offense, Daisy, but I could live without telling anyone we murdered you on some mountainside. It's a little hard to make that one sound good. Okay, dragonlings I'm okay with. Up to the top of the mountain, I guess. No, no, it wasn't. But if if you, if you want to claim it was, who thought putting a demon in a cave on Sundermount was a good idea in the first place? Where would you have put him? To Vinter, maybe, or in the Anderfells. Further away from Kirkwall, that's for sure. A good point. Ah, uh, soon. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna make sure I need, need to make sure my controller is recharged. This is not gonna end well. Not at all. I ask the mirror also just return with the intact mirror. And go, this is what we got. I know how to rebuild and cleanse one of these things. You know. Something simple. That's taking the knowledge back to the, her people. Hmm. 
something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels empty. Mm. So maybe it freed itself. It would have taken powerful magic to break him free of this prison. You couldn't just set him loose. Nobody could. Not without doing something terrible. This is very wrong. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago. Between my people and the Tevinta Imperium. Who hasn't been to war with the Tevinta Imperium? I've been to war with the Tevinta Imperium. Here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinta who bound the spirit. But he was left here from the war. How are we going to finish the mirror now? I don't know. I don't understand what's happened. How can he be gone? Why happened? Keeper. What have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. He didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. I have everybody to be snarky right now. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So, I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. <laughs> Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask the... I won't do this! You always knew your blood magic had a price, Darlin. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Shira. Meryl's pride. May the Dreadwolf hunt you for the rest of your days. Oh great, no creepy voices. Well then, I hope you get full. hear the good news you told us that the demon was bound to your life it would only die with you era balas keeper <laughs> i'm sorry keeper i really don't like that one because most of the wrong face that, that's the keeper of my clan because I do a dealish origin all the time, and keeper. that's my clan in in origins, and I just don't like seeing my keeper die. What have you done? I don't want this. I never wanted this. Creators, please let this be a bad dream. I'll wake up and feel like an idiot, and she'll scold me for not listening. Exactly which part of don't talk to demons or awful things will happen did you fail to understand? 
If there was a price to pay, I should have paid it. She had no right to interfere. I don't think anybody wanted this. Not even the demon. Marathari did what she had to. Why couldn't she have believed in me? That was the noblest thing I've ever seen anyone do. The world is poorer for having you in it instead. Oh, shut up, Anders. I, I should go to the clan. God, you're such a jerk, Anders. To know needs to come and take care of her. He is such a jerk. Yes, I'm moving her body. What of it? Okay. In case I get the wrong, the outcome I don't want. the keeper came here what's going on where is she Feneral the keeper she look at her Feneral she's covered in blood what have you done Meryl keeper can you hear me okay she's dead I should have guessed you'd turn on her you monster. Okay. I know. I think this is the right one. This was a tragedy. I promise you I'll make sure no one else is hurt by Meryl's blood magic. You expect us to take the word of a Shemlin? Stand down, Anaria. She was our first once. The Keeper loved her. More than she loved the clan, it seems. Feneral, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. If I could have saved her, if I could have died instead, I would have. Words are cheap. That you're still breathing says enough. Enough, Anaria. Human, take Meryl away from here. Yeah, I'm not about to kill her clan. I just want to see where my friendship was with her. It's like, I know there's a wrong way to do it, and I wanted to make sure I didn't do it the wrong way. Well, if I did the wrong way, at least I wouldn't have a you know, chance to go back and do it just, just to make myself feel a little bit better. I just can't kill the clan. Honestly, I understand that. What you did was a stupid thing, Meryl. An incredibly stupid thing. In the world of Dragon Age, you don't... You have this Demons. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here, when I kept getting lost in Lowtown. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. I wish I had the choice of one more maid. Oh. I want Bethany back.
Go to Merrill's house first, I think. And then I'm just going to take a brief break to stretch and stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to get through as, act, as far as Act 3 as possible. Okay. I want to see if there's anything I could do there. Okay. I'm going to take a brief break. Do it, get a little stretch in. Maybe see if the puppies need to go out and go potty. And get the AC on he in here for a little bit. So I will be back shortly. Um... See ya on the flip side. Okay, I am back. I am definitely back. I just turned some stuff off to, you know, try to deal with the heat a little bit while I was taking my break, including the game, so. Okay, there's another quest I want to do before I do the, the this, this, this final stuff thing. And that means I gotta go to Low Town. As you can see, I'm of purposely avoiding my house. I'm gonna go to Hangman. I missed a backpack, but I'm okay with that. Okay. I don't know how to get Meryl to destroy the Alluvian, though. I know that's an option in the keep. I'm going to turn my light back on now. I know that's an option in the keep, but... I really want to get to Affiliate. Is there a story behind Bianca? There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl, and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Oh, that story's tragic. I forgot what I was doing. I'm going to Gamble's house to get a quest, and I know that much. I was forgot what I was thinking. Oh yeah, I want to get to affiliate so I can have emotes because I just want to make it a lurk emote. That's all I want to have is just a lurk emote, and not, not really for my stream. But so um, you know, I can use it in other people's streams. Uh, Gamlin, I found the gem gem of Karoshek. If you want it, come to Dark Town alone. Hey, I want to help, man. That note mentions the gem of Karashek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. This gem sounds pretty impressive. It has a name and everything. Ah, don't be stupid. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune. Our home. Even Mara. Who? Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Hmm. Well, I guess I have a quest. It's a quest I don't want to forget to have to do. I know it's not story re relevant for, um, Fail Guard, but, or Inquisition, or either, really. But I'd feel better if I did it. Okay.
Back to the buyer. Back to the buyer. Okay. You no, know, I thought Gamma was happy. who sent the note about the gem of Karashek. We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. So, who are you? I think you have me mistaken for someone else. I don't know you. You don't got to know me. You just got to listen. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Karashek thing the note talks about, we decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. Uh, you don't know who I am, do you? I'm going anywhere without that gem. Well then. Guess you're not going anywhere, huh? Huh, mister? Hi, Mickle. Yeah, he's not going anywhere now. So, this note. Okay, what do I do now? As you can see, I still have no intention of uh, doing Anders thing yet. Now that I got all the canary swords and stuff. What? I don't know why I'm going this way. I really don't. Yeah, you still want to go into Gamlin's house. Up oh, there. Yep, there's a wallet mallet. I wonder how you play Wallop. What do you want now? What in the maker's name is a Wallop mallet? <laughs> Haven't played Wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. Right behind you, Hawk. I wish it would tell me what's going on. I don't want to keep going back to my journal. Off to the alienage, I guess. I wonder how to play Wallop. The name just makes it sound like fun, and it's got a mallet. The Venadar tree is where we need to go. That's where I'm going. I can't believe 
they used the wood from a Venando tree to make this wallop mallet. It's just a child's toy. Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. Oh, another note. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. That's true. Oh, to a warehouse next. It's like a treasure hunt. All them look alike to me too. All humans look alike. It's a curse of humans. I mean, you guys don't have antenna. How can, how can I identify you with your antenna if you know if you don't have antenna? Okay, where do I have to go? Docks at night, crate 1023. Well, good thing it's evening then. Once I'm done with this, uh, then I'll do Anders' thing. Metis fish guttery. The smell in here is going to be atrocious. Fish, fish, and more fish. Oh. Let's look for those crates. Ten twenty three. Ten twenty-three. I wonder what's in these crates. Fish. Something seems off. It's a trap. The sword is my honor. If I don't, if I don't, if I lose this dagger. I'm not returning to... I, I'm not able to return to Kunadar. Never been there, though, but... Seems like a nice place. Good job, Fenris. It was 1023, right? Said ten twenty three. I'm surprised they sent so many men just to capture someone like Gamlin. It's time to end this charade. Okay, sink. Cavern outside Kirkwall. I'm not gonna look inside the other crates. 
Probably just fish guts. Or stuff that the fishery smuggling. Or the guttery. But, I just want to be out of that stink. I mean, the docks are bad enough. I mean, what all, with all the dead, the, the, the rotting fish. I mean, eventually you go nose blind to it, too. I mean, Hawk went nose blind to, to, the, to Lowtown and the... Smelting. Off to the sink. And end this charade. <laughs> oh great, undead. Go for the head, guys. Go for the head. Or the spleen. I think you can also take down undead by going after their spleens. All undead have spleens, just so you know that. I think I have to go this way. Secret door, cha cha cha. Secret door. I want to. We gotta end this charade. Sorry, I can't want to. I, I don't know why I find that you know something that we're saying over and over again. Hi, are you Sherrod? Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You never told me you had a cousin. I didn't know I had a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I. Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion, but we have unfinished business here. Oh yes, we do. Where are you again? What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. Who? What's a Mechel? My brother. Mechel was my brother. And you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem Sherrod. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Really? Oh, really? Do you know who, do know who I am, right? Um, did you freeze? Did everything freeze? Okay. I moved. Um, let me fix this. So I gotta fix this. It's gonna bug me if I don't. I think the game froze on me. 
Hopefully there was an auto save. I don't remember when I last saved. Well, there was probably not a save when I entered the cave. That's the first time I've had the Dragon Age 2 crash on me. At least in this playthrough. That I can remember. That's reloading the game. But what is a Meckle? Is that an organ in the undead? Oh, I probably pressed, pressed tilde at some point too. That may have been it. May have pressed tilde at some t point. Yeah, tilde. I went into the console. Okay, I'm not that far back. I thought I had a recent save. Ah, that's what I missed. Get them in the meckle! Get him right in the meckle. Right in the meckle. So I had to go through that passage, huh? Nah, no problem. I can go through that passage. I don't mind secret doors. In fact, I like secret doors. Hi, Meckle. So, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You never told me you had a cousin. I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business. We do? Veld. What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? My brother. Mechel was my brother. And oh, I thought Mechel was uh, like this that doesn't make piece sense. in the, an undead that you Mechel kill. was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem charade. Hand it over. I well, I'm not going to end my cousin. I'm not going to end this one. let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Hey, Veld. Got him right in the meckle. Should have sent some good mercenaries after us. Not these guys. Not these two bit. These half bits here. Not even two bit, they're half bit.
Yeah, you don't go to my boyfriend like that. Okay, I'm gonna loot bodies just in case. Feld, I want your I want your loot. Just in case. You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after gambling at all. Neither do you. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight? I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara, she left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. So... Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. You have to look really hard. What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Having family might be more worthwhile than you think. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. Yeah, I don't care about the gem. Honestly. With this hawk, I mean most of my hawks, because I can't be a bad hawk. I can't be a jerk hawk. Just really wants fa their family. Having more family, you know, can't be that bad, right? Plus you can have the gem. Or give it to Gamlin and, yeah. I mean, he might like that. It's one thing I always want to make sure I do. I just had to look up how to acquire the quest. Other than that, the decision's easy. Now, he's not rich like me, but, you know. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have, well, I don't know, gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you, and I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. I was worried she wouldn't come find you. I think you need each other. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, <laughs> stay out of my damn business, boy. What, and let my last family member get into trouble? Hell no. Somebody's got to keep their eye on you, Gamlin. Okay, now time to go into the sewers with Anders. This keeper of yours, she was a friend? She was like a mother to me. 
to all of us. Then I'm sorry. No, you're not. She's just one more mage to you. Why would you be sorry she's dead? I'm not sorry she's dead. I'm only sorry she died for you. What? Let's hope the sacrifice of someone who cared for you that much isn't wasted. That's kind of mean. That's kind of mean. You know what, Fenris? You're not going into. You're not going to go into the sewer with me. In fact, I don't want to go into the sewer with me. I mean, honestly, I don't really want to go to the sewer at all. I don't know why I went this way. Ugh. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? I guess so. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Uh, I'll bring Farrick and Meryl. I know it isn't my place to criticize, but are you sure about Fenris? He seems less a man to me than a wild dog. You just don't know him. I know as much as I'm ever likely to. He has let one bad experience color his whole world. Surely you want someone more open-minded. Not you. And I'm already with him. Oh, I swear. He doesn't want Fenris for himself. You know, at least Sebastian wants to have a three-way. I don't care about your lyrium smuggling. I really don't give a crap about their lyrium smuggling. Oh, God, that smells. The cellar Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. I don't want to touch it either, but I'm, but I'm touching it. No. No, Anders. Not everyone is still alive. They're dead. And we murdered them. We're cold, heartless murderers, Anders. We are. Ok, 
Okay. The Enigma of Kirkwall, huh? I hope I didn't miss any. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Do we have to? This place smells funny. And not funny, haha. -ha, but funny, I want to throw up. You know, that kind of funny. Okay, I'm muting. Sorry, dogs barking outside and uh, Crypto decided to respond. No, it's uh, K. R Y. Not like the currency. It's like Superman's dog. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Oh, please, no. Do I have to? Watch your step. All this just to get some pee. For Sovereign Guard? Oh wait, wrong game. And let's see if we can find all their loot. So I am going to have to, you know, soak this stuff in something. That should be plenty. Thank the maker. Uh-huh. What's that? Okay. Let's get out of the sewers. Let's get out of the sewers. Let's get out of the sewers. Let's get out of the sewers and have ourselves a bath. And have ourselves a bath. And have ourselves a bath. Let's get out of the sewers and have ourselves a bath.
Okay. I don't know why I did that. Gotta go to Anders Clinic though, I guess. There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk. And I can't tell you why. Okay. Let's get inside the chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. If you support freedom for mages, help me. That's all I can say. Um. What do you want me to talk about? Food? The weather? What does it matter? No, talk of mages. Give her one final chance to hear what we have suffered. To pick a side. Perhaps she'll be more inclined to listen to you. What is it you don't want me to see? You said you believe in me. Again and again you have shown your support for mages. Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than just me and justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. But maybe your support of mages ends at talk. It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. You cannot pretend friendship, then stop now. If you don't trust me, man... That's unfair. I will not be blackmailed into aiding some mad scheme. You're on your own. I have always been on my own. For a time, I just forgot. Dick. Oh, we're friends. No, no, we're not. You're on your own, Anders. I mean, admittedly, there's like nothing else to do. Okay, that's the last thing I'm gonna do. I mean, might as well, right? Okay, I don't know what's going up. Oh. My basement, of course. Right in my house's basement. That's where this hidden layer is. Oh, great. That's not ominous at all. Oh, I forgot to hit record on this part. Would I command a peace? Summoned a horror. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I do that? <clears throat> Horrors are pieces. Slivers of greater crimes. I am cried with reason. I enslaved the whims and weirds. The dreams from the other side of the veil. Face me. 
face everything. Um. Okay, hubris. I have fought ogres. I've slept with Fenris. If you don't think I can't handle you. Keep your attention on me here, ugly. You don't think I can handle a little hubris? How do I get out of here? Okay. Everybody calm back down now. I'm glad I wasn't outside when those dogs were barking. I would have been pulled halfway down the street by Crypto. He may be short, but he's strong. He's like all muscle. He's He may have the corgi body, but he's definitely got the pit bull strength. The last straw. That means go home and read mail. You know what? I wonder what happened. Admittedly, haven't agreed to talk with her, but... You haven't come to try to talk me into leaving again. It would be safer. Wall needs a steadying hand on its reins now more than ever. Orsino and the Knight Commander grow more fractious by the day. There are apostates plotting something against the Chantry. And the sky is blue and the rains come in the spring. No, truly. It's no secret you have close associates who are apostates, champion. I do not doubt you know of one's plans. But mages have threatened me before. I cannot turn on my Templars, on the very words of Andraste for fear. No matter how justified that fear might be. She ain't listening. She ain't listening. Why won't she listen? Because of plot. If she was sensible and listened. Wouldn't be much of a game, would it?
Hopefully it doesn't just, you know, start a cutscene. That's why I say, in case it starts a cutscene. Welcome home, Messiah. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Yay. Now, I'm gonna throw... Some stuff into the in into here. Just in case. Okay, where is it? I want to have this stuff just to be on the safe side, too. I'm going to go sell some stuff. Then, I'm going to go take care of puppies. And, you know, feed the puppies, actually. They, they need to be fed at their dinner time. And then they get some treats. Because Gambit was on some medicine, so... Okay, I'm going to level up everybody except Anders. Yeah, puppies realize it's their dinner time. Being pestered already. Okay, I'm going to go feed dogs and take care of dinner and take dogs out. 
So. That's what we're doing next. And that's where I'm going to um, pause it for now. I'll be back in a little bit. See you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.